The city of Santiago is geographically located within the province of Isabela. It is administratively and politically an independent component city in the region. Dubbed as the investment hub of northern Luzon, Santiago is considered a first-class city in the Cagayan Valley region. This queen city of the north is surrounded by four provinces, namely Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, Quirino, and Ifugao. The city sits on a vast area of dominantly flat and fertile land in the Cagayan Valley. Surrounded by the Carabali Mountains to the south, the Great Sierra Madre to the east, and the Cordillera Mountain Range to the west. With a total land area of 1,221.97 square kilometer, Santiago is subdivided into 37 barangays where 19 barangays are considered urban areas and the remaining 18 barangays fall on rural areas. Topographically speaking, its terrain is generally flat and is situated 79 kilometers south of Ilagan City, the provincial capital city, and about 328 kilometers north of Metro Manila, an 8-hour land travel. As of 2020 PSA census, the population recorded was 148,580 with 33,707 households. The population density of the city of Santiago is 122 persons per square kilometer. On May 5, 1994, by virtue of Republic Act 7720, signed by His Excellency President Fidel V. Ramos, Santiago was pronounced as an independent component city, the first city in Cagayan Valley region. The cityhood was annually celebrated through the Balamban Dance Festival, making the city known as the home of Balamban. As per the city's legislative profile, the Revenue Code was enacted on June 4, 2015. The Revised Investment Code was updated on May 23, 2023. The updated Child and Youth Welfare Code was approved on May 7, 2024. And the Gender and Development Code was agreed on April 27, 2017. On October 21, 2002, the Zoning Ordinance was declared. It was updated on December 15, 2020, covering the 2020 to 2030 period. The Citizens Charter Handbook was enacted on March 15, 2022, and the Human Resource Management Agenda was passed on September 20, 2022. In terms of personal complement, the city has a total number of 503 policemen, one policeman for every 295 population better than the expected national standard of 1 to 500. The total number of firefighters are 132, which means one firefighter for every 1,126 population, exceeding the ideal ratio of 1 to 2,000. As for the total number of doctors, the city government of Santiago has 15 doctors, 3 in-house and 12 visiting. This means that there is one doctor for every 9,905 population, more desirable than the 1 to 20,000 ideal ratio. The number of barangay health workers in the city was 298, meaning one barangay health worker for every 499 population, more preferable than the 1 to 5,000 ideal ratio. For school year 2022 to 2023, there are 826 elementary school teachers in the city of Santiago, meaning there is one elementary teacher in every 25 students, more suitable than the 1 to 40 ideal ratio. For the secondary school teachers, the city has 765 in total. That is, one secondary teacher in every 25 students, surpassing the ideal ratio of 1 to 40. The city government of Santiago is financially stable with a 2,106,486,450 pesos national tax allotment share. The local source revenues are composed of an estimated 261,930,000 pesos. All in all, the local government unit has 2,368,416,000 450 pesos. 
the city of Santiago achieved exceptional performance having 1,663.11 pesos local source revenue per capita while the average first-class cities are at 1,163.9 pesos in the national average of 1,404.40 pesos. In 2023, the city registered a 14.88% cost to collect revenues as compared to an average of 11.67% for LGUs with the same income class and almost the same as the national average target of 14.34%. The city's local source accelerated at an annual average growth rate of 13.21% from 2021 to 2023. As per the 2023 Competitiveness Index, the city of Santiago landed on the 43rd spot at the national level, outweighing 71 other component and independent component cities all over the Philippines. The city has three LGU-owned economic enterprises, namely Integrated Terminal Complex, Slaughterhouse, and Public Market. Its public market is 6.962 hectares, which is one of the biggest distribution centers in the entire country. Four economics activities were identified in the city such as commercial and service centers, agriculture, industrial, and fishery. The city comprises three ecosystems, namely urban ecosystems, agricultural ecosystems, and freshwater ecosystems. With the Kaisaka governance strategy of the current administration, the city will continue to sustain its effort to become the lead investment hub of the North, evolving to be the smart city in the region, blossoming to be the green city in the valley, advancing to be the center for human excellence, and championing as stewards of good local governance in the Philippines. The city will rise to greater heights for the good of every Sanchegueño.